I'm Colleen Durkin and I'm a biological oceanographer and I am a scientist on the ship. I am looking at the plankton in, both in the surface layer where they're growing and also the particles and the plankton that are sinking up below the surface layer. So I was both sampling the plankton in the surface to figure out what was growing and then also helping out with the sediment traps. And we had three different types of sediment traps. The, um, one that was on the NBST, the neutrally buoyant sediment trap. There was tubes that were hanging at the bottom of the wire walker. And then there was also uh, the surface tethered sediment trap. You want to be able to resolve uh, what the particles were like and what they're made of while they're sinking. So one of the traps also had a gel layer at the bottom. And the nice thing about the gel layer is that the particles just gently settle into it. And then uh, you can put that gel layer under the microscope and identify how big were the particles, what were they? Was it an aggregate? Was it a fecal pellet? Was it uh, an organism? And you can see uh, how big it was. Was it all big things? Was it small things? And by doing that, you can try to connect it with the ecological processes that were happening on the surface uh, that caused the carbon to sink out. There was a lot of phytoplankton on the surface, so I actually haven't worked in a place that's as productive as this area, so that was exciting for me. There were a lot of diatoms and dinoflagellates, uh, just a lot of coastal types of phytoplankton that grow, and in coastal areas it tends to be a lot more productive too than the open ocean. Also the gel traps have caught a ton of particles, so I'll have a lot, a lot of things to work with. 